in the studio of God's an Algerian handball player who featured in the just concluded action over there. Now of course I've got Yaya Ogola B and Bayomi in the studio. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, good afternoon. Nice to have you in the studio. Yes, same here. Now of course we know that uh, when we're talking about handball, we know we have to bring in all the whole achievements of Samuel Echeo, who is the president of the Handball Federation. But of course we know that um, the Nigerian team did not have a good run in in the African. Of course, they had um, been defeated twice. They had won just two, and they were defeated badly twice. But looking at this right now, like, let's just start by knowing you here. Yeah, my name is Ahaya Ya Olabi Okay. Yeah. You're, uh, you started playing handball as at what age, or how did you start playing handball? Yeah, well, I started very, um, at a very tender age. Um, okay. I started from under 12, 15, 18, 21, far back well, as early 2000. No, Lego State. I started with, okay. um, playing for Lego State. So, to senior team, I played for. I started. Um, I migrated into the Lego State senior national team 2010, and then into the Nigeria national team 2015. I'm still a national player till now. Okay, now looking at um, the running, your running at um, the campaign at um, the African, will you say it was a good one? Yeah, we. Could have something you recommend? Well, not really, not really, not really, not really, but you know, when it comes to sports in Nigeria, you know, there are some factors you need to consider too, so that's why I tell you factors, it's... because of course, <laughs> I, I know money would not be left out. <laughs> sure, 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 definitely, 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 mm. definitely. So what are those factors that really deterred you people from getting away with all that has been invested in you? Samuel went a lot, a long way to get you people to feature at the African, and he was so confident, because I, we heard him say he was confident that this were going to cause um, a shocker over there at the African. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, sometimes um, we the players and the, the coaches um, actually do um, did our best. But you know, there are some factors, as I said, um, when it comes to um, capital facilities and everything, you know, mm. when it comes to preparation of the event. So okay. that's what I could say for now. Oh, all right, let me hear yeah. if um, I guess I've got some questions. Let's hear my panelists. Uh, I, I knew um, this is like the first qualifier for the AFCON. Um, in a long while, so many Nigerians don't even know yeah, and ball and got half con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, 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 when, sure. when we heard, um, we knew going to all jazz was going to be a top one. I, for one, never saw it as a failure. Whichever thing, you know, handball went there to do. It was last year that was like a, a, a landmark achievement for me in handball, where sure, the, sure, league, sure, sure, sure. the league came to bear, it started and ended and all. Was it players from the league? How many of them got a chance in the national team? Or did the management go looking Just outside of players, Nigeria okay. for handball, you know? To yeah, literally with the, um, let's, say, let's say for the past um, four years, we actually have about two um, or three professionals um, that plays outside the country. Okay. But with the light of um, Ucheu and then um, the league um, supported by um, Prudent Energy. Yeah. So we've got some players out there. You know, about four that just got signed last day to. Did they get to yeah. train with you people? Did they get yeah, to Yeah, they have limited. You know, they went um, after, most of them went after the first phase of the league. That was um, okay. May last year. Okay. You know, they have limited time to train with the, uh, with the so. team, you know. So I think they came back, they came back um, towards like a week to, to the um, yeah. competition. So okay. we have limited time, limited time to train together. And then I believe with, with time we get there. So. Can you tell us just one challenge, one big challenge? The top most, the yeah, top top most challenge for you, for you players. In the league or as a national team? In the league, the national team, just give yeah, us a challenge. Yeah, to be honest, uh, we need more facilities. You know, the game handball um, is an indoor game, but in, Ni in Nigeria, it plays outdoor. Outdoor game. You know, that's one of the major, um, okay, you know. Okay. Um, and then it's not going to be left out. Fond. Yeah. Fond, you know. Okay, but um, uh, my question is just, what do you think or what were the challenges or the factors that affected the team? Like Kenny said, the preparation was good to a level going to the AFCON, but yeah, yeah, you yeah. didn't, to some persons it was a failure, but like yeah. you rightly said, we didn't expect you to have qualified, but you got there. So what do you think were the challenges or the factors that affected and you think you could work on, not you now, yeah, yeah, as, a yeah, as a team for the next event? Okay. What I would like to say is, um, you know, if you call the president himself, we'll tell you what he had is um, a developmental program starting from the scratch, you yeah. know. So now, when you um, talk of um, a developmental program, you don't come in to see the result at once. You know, yeah. it's started, uh, so we still, need, we still need to give it a time. Yeah. Um, but to the team, you know, this is the second, uh, what's it called, league. You know, we're going to yes. uh, be playing the third one this year. So 
I've seen so many improvements in the players and um, even the younger ones that are coming up, you know. So let's just give it a time. Give the president a time even to, you know, to make sure to work on his dream and then to let it and his dream come true. Well, I believe we're going to have um, what, what kind of relationship do, does he have with the local, local, um, local players, the, local players. the, president. the president? Because uh, I, I was mentioning it to you off air, he's a media friendly person, yeah, he brings yeah. everything to the media. You guys should see what playing and all. What kind of relationship does he have with you guys who play here? Okay. Yeah, what I would say is, you know, Ambo is just a family game, not like football that you know, we play here. We play, we play. For the fact that I'm here, you know, I can tell you at least 90 percent of um, Ambolas in the um, in Nigeria, to be precise. You know, we are like a family, okay. not really um, a president and a player. We are like a family, family so we, yeah. we relate. You know, if we have any challenges, is a thing that we, whereby I can walk up to him and tell him, "Ah, uh, yeah, this is what um, I think we need." Then you know, we have sorted them. So see how we can this, um, work on it. Formal kind of relationship. Yeah, where sure, you talk sure, to sure. Him freely. Freely. Now, yeah, way yeah. forward, right now, what do you think should be done? Yeah, to me, I you know, I told him we need more private investors. In in, in the game so okay. they can help him you know okay. to be honest i really commend him because almost all these things you know he's just trying to make everything work out because you know it's something he has passion for wow. beautiful i'm so yeah. glad to have you over here yeah, 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 so be about your of course he won the man of the match at the time yeah, 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 yeah. and you didn't bring the trophy here you didn't bring that stuff here at no least. I, I can see the man of the match <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful one. Now, okay, we have a few minutes left now, but let's see your predictions. I know you're, you're not just a handball person. You should be yeah. a football person. Yeah, so you're sure, willing sure. to know, what club do you support? Barcelona. Why are you sitting oh, down beside me? That's in Madrid fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I like you, but pictures. no, we let's don't like you. you. <laughs> of course, Igalo's club is what you're going to support right now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. how do you see the game going? Yeah, you know, I, I wish my brother um, the very best, Igalo, so that's all I can say. Okay. I, I like when Nigerians are using my brother. <laughs> I was talking to you know I was talking to yeah. a colleague and he said, uh, my brother over there. Yeah. You know he's like, sports, you know he's sports, we don't have yeah, you know, but, you know yeah. okay. that's really many Nigerians are supporting many Nigerians are supporting Bolton for JJ, same thing now for guys. I think it's good. He's partially your brother. You know, okay, so, now uh, let's hear from the, the prominent in the house. Now, uh, Ali, see the game. Let's hear your predictions. Do people play on Thursday? Do you think Igalo? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, my, I think one of the interesting games would be, I think it's Olympiakos Arsenal. One day you will okay. be on Thursday. No, 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 no. Real Madrid can't play on the third. <laughs> I think the Olympiakos Arsenal should be a game to look out for. Getafe, I think Getafe, Ajax. They are good. Interestingly, today's games will be very, very interesting because they are good scoring? pitches. I want him to score. Mm -hmm. Either he starts or comes from the way. I really want him to score to just shut the critics up that he is a bad guy. I saw some clips of his training and you know he's giving his a best. Lot. He yeah. needs to get the goals. And okay. now, even if they defeat us now, uh, Man United 10 9 today. You I know, just want just him to, to be successful. Yeah. Just make a goal. That's just it. Even okay. me too. That's my yeah, I, exactly. Yeah. You know, my thoughts. Even uh, before the Chelsea game, uh, I was telling Bolu, wow, you know, we're spending our private time. Like, if he gets eight goals in maybe six games, and then for another six games, he doesn't score, I think man, I'm okay. <laughs> I just want him to score. But for the games, I think uh, Bruges, uh, Mayu, is going to be a tough game. Man, you should go and see what Bruce did. Did he? Did he try to play against Real Madrid? Against Real Madrid. So it's okay, going to now. for okay. Olympiacos Arsenal. Maybe Arsenal have had to dig deep sometimes a goal to beat Olympiacos because they needed that game. Let's see if they can turn up this. Okay, now um, what we're looking right now. Is there any? Are you eyeing any competition soon? Soon, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What competition is that? Yeah, that should be National Sport Festival. Oh, okay. National yeah. Sport Festival over there. Now, of course, we know that. Uh, what type of state are you playing for? Lagos State. No. Uh, are you yeah. from Lagos State? <laughs> yeah, not really. Okay, but Man Paul has made it. So look out for no, no, Paul over there oh, yeah, representing yeah. Lagos State in the handball yeah, for the, the National <laughs> Sport <laughs> Festival. This is all we can take for today. Thank you, Yaya Wolabi, okay, for being on welcome. the show. We appreciate your presence. You didn't come with your Laura on what? Maybe next time, maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> now, Kenny, thank you for being on the show. And um, <laughs> Bolu Omoni, yeah. thank you for being on the show. I'm Yechi Ogu, it's Galaxy Sport Edge, Television, and I'm wishing you a pleasant afternoon.